Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations. And it's time! It's Crafty Christmas in July 24. I'm so excited to be a part of this collaboration. We have many um, collaborators. We had 25, I think though we're down to 23 unfortunately. I think a couple of people had to uh, back out for personal reasons of course. But still, we have a lot of collaborators. You're still probably going to get over 100 videos. So lots of inspiration for your Christmas projects. This is being hosted by Sweet Pea Papers. Um, we're going to have a drawing. Well, she's going to have a drawing August 1st, so I'll get more into that in a minute. Um, but you can go and join her group, Sweet Pea Papers. Also, she runs, this is Terry, by the way, <laughs> Terry Lee at Sweet Pea Papers. Um, she also runs Junk Journal Tutorials and More Facebook group. So make sure you go and check those out so you can enter in the drawing. Okay, we also have some wonderful um, donations from some great designers, myself included. Um, I mean, as a donor for a kit, I'm not like tooting my own horn. <laughs> I mean, some of my kits are pretty good, but... Um, Anyway, we have some great um, people who have donated some beautiful kits, all different kinds. So, um, yeah, this will all be down in the description box below so you can go and check them out. Um, I'm actually going to end up doing four different projects. So I'm using four different kits because um, I've... I couldn't just do one. There were too many, too many beautiful. It was hard to just narrow it down to four. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, please go in and check out the artists and creators and um, support them. So, the drawing. Um, the collaboration runs from July 1st to July 31st. And the drawing will be August 1st. Uh, to enter the drawing, you'll need to post your pictures of your projects using the hashtag CraftyChristmasInJuly24. Make sure you get that whole hashtag in there um, so that we can find your your stuff. Um, post your pictures in Sweet Pea Papers or the Junk Journal Tutorials and more Facebook groups. You can do it in um, both double your chances but each post gets one entry okay so there is that this is going to be so much fun I'm very excited um, so let's get to our first project okay so for this project I'm going to be using this packaging I don't know if any of you get this but um, it it comes in a strip however much they decide to tear off it is perforated like every what five and a half or five and a quarter inches or something like that five and a half so it's perforated and it's also like stuck together by a strip of glue in the center so, um, I've been saving this and not really sure what I was going to do with it, but I had a great idea for an accordion journal. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I kind of already had one made, but I just wanted to show you this. This comes 11 and a quarter long, so it's five and a half by eleven and a quarter so you could totally use um, you know 12 by 12 paper and cover this whole thing um, I 
uh, took one and cut it down to the size that I wanted. And then, um, so here, I'll just show you. <laughs> so here's this one. And then I took um, washi tape and went all around the edges and especially along the perforations because I didn't want this to come apart. Um, then some of these, the way I cut it, you know, there was a glue strip in the middle. So there was a small side and a big side. So the big side is the top. And some of these I left open so they can be pockets. So most of these, in fact, I think just the end ones I, I shut closed. And then along the bottom, I just glued some lace in between there. So, and I use different kinds of washi, but they're all this gold, um, gold, some have polka dots, some have snowflakes, different kinds. So, um, I'm going to be using, for this one, I'm going to be using two of my kits um, because it this is an accordion journal and you're kind of getting two out of one so I'm going to use the two uh, Highland Cow ones because I have one that's blue and one that's red and green so I thought that would be fun for an accordion journal so I've picked out my papers and cut them down to size and I've inked all around them so I have my green and red stack and my blue stack so I'm going to just glue these on um, as centered as I can. So one whole side, all this side will be the red and green, and then when you go to flip it over, this will start the blue side. So let me get all of those glued on, and um, then we'll come back. because. You guys know how to glue paper on, and that's boring. So, <laughs> okay, I will be back. Okay, so I have all the pages glued on, and um, I also went through and kind of pre cut and pre designed stuff to go inside, so this video won't be, you know, three hours long. <laughs> so, hopefully, I can get it all in, but uh, we'll see. Um, so, we're going to start on the red and green side. And um, I just sewed in a couple of pages um, of a signature. It can be for writing or decorating or whatnot. So, okay, this page I'm going to make like a little stacked um, pocket, but it will flip up. So you can still, you know, so I'm not covering this whole page, it can still be used but you have some pockets. So let me kind of get this together. I think we'll ink with festive berries. So I'm using Distress Oxide. Okay, so first I'm going to stack these on here, kind of where I want them. I want some room up here. Actually, let me do that first. So I'm just going to fold this over probably about a half inch. Make sure it's straight. So that's going to be my my flip or my hinge, you know, to flip it up. Okay, so I can actually bring these down a little more. Let's do that. Well, no, I can't because this whole thing is going to move. Okay, so. Do this, this. Just trying to get these 
somewhat even. All right, well, let's glue the first one on because I know that'll at least give me a starting point. I come down about that far. Oops. And we need to make it straight. <laughs> I think I got that top part straight. Okay, we can always trim. And then let's see the second one. Up to about there. I'm just going to make a little mark so I know where to put this. Yeah, well, they're not <laughs> exactly straight. Kind of trim this off here, and ink that back up. Okay, and then let me put on a little. That's too big. Do a little. Let it snow. And let's see. We have star. Got a smaller little cow. Okay, let's do that. And I'm not going to ink these up. Let's do this one first. So then, I think I'm going to put it about here, and then it can flip up, and you still have space underneath there. Then you could come in and you know put some little little stuffs in there. Okay. So there's that one. Um let's see. This one. Okay, I think that was gonna put over there. And this one I was gonna make stacked. Yeah. Okay, so this one is gonna go over here. And we're going to do stacked pockets. And these aren't going to flip up, so I can. All right, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Get that one. And that one. And that one. There we go. Now I'm going to leave the bottoms open so that you can put taller stuff in there. I'll we'll have to trim that a little bit. So 
that one. Okay. that here okay uh, let's see if I have anything big enough yeah so that can go in there and that'll fit in there it there and that'll go all the way down okay and then again we can do some decorating on here if I can find stuff small enough um, we have that let's see do the candy cane. Or we can just do a little cow. Or let's do some. How about some poinsettias? And we'll say. Got my little stash over here. Um, festive. About that. Okay. Okay, and then we have this pocket over here. So there's that one. I don't think I had. Let's see. There's. I don't think I had anything for here. And then we have another little uh, two-page signature. Okay. Here I have um, these stacked tags are from uh, a freebie in my group um, from last year. So you can go and and check those out. Um, but what I did was I just put them all together with a brad and so they just kind of flip out. You can write on the back. You can easily take them apart. So I just have those here. And um, I'm going to use a red paper clip to just clip those on. So easy peasy. Okay, here I have this bag that um, I think some stickers or something came in it. And I glued on these decorations. And I wanted to put this here, but I wanted it to kind of flip so that when you go to get in the bag, you can lift it up. So... We're going to try this. I'm going to use washi tape and we're going to see how this works. have that so this will flip up like this I think I'm going to add another one here on the back side just to give it some stability and keep it in there need that little 
do that. Okay. So then we just have this little bag and then we can put stuff in there. We can put little decorations in there. And let's see. Some of that in there. So yeah. That's kind of cute. And then you still have all of this. Okay. Now this one is going to be a little different. So let me tell you what I've done here. I have these two. Um, this is some black, very flimsy cardstock. And they're going to go on here like this. This is uh, washi tape, and I purposely did not put it all the way to the end. So these are going to be like two doors that open. And to keep it closed, I'm going to have this on here and then try <laughs> and somehow like put a brad on here so that this flips down and will kind of hook underneath there. So <clears throat> I think I need to put these in first so that they'll stay in place and I know um, where they are. Let me get the washi tape that I wanted to use. Um, I think we'll just use this one. And it's just a pretty snowflake one. I've used it around the border of the the book. Okay, so that's not very sticky. Let's cut that. So we have a straight edge. Okay, so this shorter one is this side so we want to put washi tape here I am gonna put a little bit of glue like real light little stream there Oops. and let's see if I can kind of make this straight I should have given a little bit more room there, but let's let's see how we do. Okay. Kind of using this plaid on this page to give me a little guide. Still kind of see that, so I'm just kind of pushing it over to give that fold. Okay, I think that will work. I hope. All right, let's do the same on this side, but maybe give ourselves a little more room. That's a little better. Oh, let me cut that off of there. Okay. Did I do that on the wrong side? No. 
No, we're good. Okay. So I'm going to put a little glue on here. I don't know where to put it. <laughs> That's not straight. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay. So we have. That opens up and that opens up. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and I'm just gonna glue it on half. So I want this to open. Can also be used as a little tab to open that up and then let's see I don't really know if this is going to function as I'm thinking that it will but I don't know it's kind of kind of cute I think so that needs to go right there these kind of blackish so we're just gonna use that okay need to make the hole a little bigger Okay, so then that will, hmm, well, it'll kind of keep it, well, no it won't. What was I thinking? That's, <laughs> all right, well, uh, we're just going to leave that on there as a little a decoration can be interactive. I don't know why I was thinking. I don't know, guys. You know, sometimes I don't know what I was thinking. All right, but we're just going to leave that on there. It's kind of cute. A little decoration. Um, do I have another Oh, let me think about that. Okay. Well, I guess I could just go ahead and take this off. This is going to be covered up, and then I'll make sure and cover up the hole on the front. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. <clears throat> okay, so, moving on. I made... Um, this one I think goes on the side. No, this one. Okay. So I made this pocket and it's got um, slits in it for these tickets. Okay. 
name. I thought I put, oh yeah, there's a third one that goes up. It'll go up here. So I just kind of created stoppers. At least that's my hope for the tickets because I didn't want them to slide all the way down. So I'm going to put that on this side. And this is backed with packaging paper. So that's what that brown color is. There we go. And that should have. Okay. Well, that might stick out a little bit. Anyway, there's that one. And this side pretty much did the same thing except the top part holds this big ticket. But I do have a slit here for another uh, little ticket. Okay, well, we're going to put this one here for now. <laughs> there we go. And then those close. So now I need to cover up my boo boo there. So let's see. I'll put a little. Christmas tree there. Does that look like it's just put there for no reason? Or I could. Here, I'll just take two candy canes. And we'll just cover it up like this. There's that one. And we'll put one down here. There we go. So we have our little tab. This opens up and this opens up. I know I have another ticket around here somewhere. I wonder if it's still if it's in here. Nope. Okay. Anyway. So there's that one. Okay. So for the blue side. Um, I'm putting this here. anything for that one. Make sure I don't have anything up in here. Nope, okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay, this one. I'm going to put this here. 
Let me make this. So this can still be used for writing space, but then we have a, a pocket there. I have another little signature. Here I went ahead and did this because I was experimenting, but I took some acetate and let me show you this, there's a pocket here. You can see the acetate. But I didn't want to cover this up and I really wanted to utilize the windows but I had already glued it down. <laughs> so I just um, decorated the edge so that you know that there is something here. It doesn't cover up the image. So when you don't have anything in there you can see it or if you want to put a card or something in there then you have a pocket. So there's that. Okay, here, oh yeah, I was going to put this little pocket, this kind of up here. I apparently used this side for something. And then I just have two little journal cards. I think they'll fit in this way. Yeah. And then I think I'll add like Merry Christmas. Yeah, we'll just add Merry Christmas. There's already a, a lot happening there, so. Okay, this side. I have these little packages. And I'm going to use these as a tuck spot down here. So I can put some tickets in there. And then I just made two little pockets for these tickets. They're so cute. Get them in there. There we go. Okay, so actually I can do this all kinds of different ways. Um, I can stack these and make them little individual pockets like that Which that's what I might do and just not do these other ones I think that's what I'll do I could put one over here yeah let's do that we'll put this one over here because I still want to use it Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so this one, let's see. I want to make sure I leave enough room. This is going to be kind of dangerous putting it on the sides here. Just because the glue will spread and leave me without enough room. So we're just going to try it, don't push too hard, 
push outwards. Great, okay. So then we'll do this one. Let's see if that one is there. Maybe we can put this one here. Perfect. Okay. No crooked. So those aren't even, but <laughs> that's okay. It's still cute. I'm gonna make sure I can get that one in there. Okay. Cute. Let's switch these around because I'm a little OCD like that. Okay, so there's that one, and I still have this if I want to use it somewhere. I could put it. No, I don't want to cover up his face. Okay, so spoiler alert, you just saw that. <laughs> um, so this one, this flips out like this. Um, this was a double page, so each one of these was on a side. And I, for some reason, just really wanted to cut this out. So I did. And it swings. You can take it off, though, and write on the back. So there is journaling space. Um, I didn't, like, tape it or anything in there. Oh. Okay. Those will need to go on the other side. Um, so you can still take it off and you can write on the back. And then, um, yeah, just a fun little element. I did put a gym thingy here, a bedazzled thing, because that spot was really weak and um, I didn't want it to tear so and I didn't want to just put tape there so that is on the back and then we have um, another little signature for some writing space here I think I was just I was going to put the envelope but um, there are two journal cards in here, okay, and I don't really want that to flip up because then that's kind of hard to take out, so I think I will, I don't know what I'll do, um, here, maybe I'll we'll put another pocket. I was just gonna clip it, but this is not open up here, and I don't want you to see the paper clip on the other side. So yeah, I think we'll just put another pocket, and then we'll have that envelope in there.
make sure it sticks down real good because that's kind of bulky I may wait and then maybe we can add this little ticket here let's do that We can also just hook this on there and then you still have room for a little pocket up there. Well, look at that. Put those little tickets up there. And you can also clip this on if you're afraid it's going to fall off. Cute. Okay, let me, I forgot I <laughs> made these. Let's see, where was I gonna put this? Uh, I think actually I was gonna put them here. We had to put those somewhere else. There's a lot happening on that page, huh? Okay. Yeah, now what these are are double pockets. So there's a pocket here. And then you can also make it a pocket for the back. So I'm pretty sure that's what I was going to do. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And I um, stitched along the edge of those try to give maximum real estate in there to stick oh that one got crooked okay so then these I know I had like another blankish page somewhere but well we can just put them in there and then they don't have to be paper clipped <laughs> oh yeah had that okay so there's that and there's that all right that is it for this one we'll do a quick little uh, flip through Okay, so we have that. We have a pocket here, which I didn't put anything in. We'll just take one of those. Um, left that one. We have a pocket here. We have the signature. We have a pocket here. Pocket up here with two cards. This little ticket. These little ticket pockets. and a little swingy outy <laughs> bell or ornament here we have all kinds there's pocket there's the envelope and there's that pocket there and then we have this side just left that little signature there pockets there and this will flip up so just be mindful of whatever you put in this top one. So there's that. Those tags with that pocket. We got 
one, two, three, four pockets here, which I can make something to put in there. Left that page. A little signature here. Four pockets here. This little bag of goodies that will flip out so you can get in there. And then this little area. Little area. <laughs> little doors that open up and there's a pocket here, pocket here, here, here. And there's one up there that I don't have anything in. And that will stay closed. There we go. Our accordion journal is complete. Minus a few things in the pockets. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was fun. And then there's all these pockets up here to put stuff. So, fun. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please hit that subscribe button so you'll see the rest of my um, Christmas and July videos and you won't miss them. Plus other fun stuff I do here. And yeah, go check out all the other collaborators. There's so many and so many wonderful ideas and projects. So go and have fun and, and get you some ideas. All right, guys. Until the next one. Bye-bye.